Hi guys. Hi guys, it's uh, me, Lani. Lani good to be exact. So anyway guys, I feel like this is a video. I'm so fucking warm. <sighs> Let me put my uh, if I put my aircon on it's gonna make noise and you probably will hear it. Um I'm just waiting for them to pass. Cool, this is gonna be a different type of video because I'm going to talk about um, how I feel about people. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi guys, it's me, Lani. Okay, so this is a different type of video. This is not gonna be edited. And I've literally come in my car to do it because I don't want my sisters to hear me. Um, because, you know, sometimes when I feel my sisters hear me, um, and interrupt me so I don't want them to hear me because this is like a private conversation but in a sense it's not because I'm giving it to you lot to hear what I have to say but I just want to make sure I'm very very clear to everyone yeah I'm very very clear yeah, to everyone like I have so many um, people that hate me people that don't rate me people that think um, I don't know, like I chat shit or I'm just loud and I'm a bit, who knows, all this negative stuff, yeah. I have loads of people that think a lot of bad shit about me. I don't even go as far as say I'm, a, I'm an underdog in this game, innit? But something that people, I would say people choose to forget is their words and their comments sometimes are really unnecessary and evil if i'm really honest yeah some of the shit you lot say is fucking tapped it's fucking evil and it's uncalled for first of all yeah if i choose to do a video on my personal fucking experience that is my right as a human being i'm a youtuber i talk about my experience if you actually notice i've had my youtube for about two years and guess what i have never ever really touched base on this love of my life ex i talk about i'm gonna wait till these people walk past yeah this video is gonna be so fucking weird because people keep walking past and i don't want them to hear me fucking sunroof is open as well cool i have done loads of videos yeah um, even before Bat Chat, I had story times on my channel. I never done nothing on this love of my life guy, innit? The reason I never touched base on this nigga is because what I had with him on my... I'm only talking about from my point of view. I'm not going to talk about from his point of view because we're not going to do that. But I'm going to talk about from my point of view. What we had for me was very, very real. Do you understand? So far... So, so much so that I ended up tattooing his name on me. You all know this because I've spoken about it. Now, as much as you lot think, yeah, it's fun and games and I'm just here talking a story. No, 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 no. It's not fun and games for me. Me talking about somebody that hurt me deeply isn't fun. Okay? Me reminiscing about somebody that hurt me deeply isn't fun. I have to sit there and reminisce about someone who hurt me and then I have to sit there and edit the video Now a lot of you lot will probably think okay cool everyone gets hurt or I don't know what the fuck you lot think here yeah? But this is something that you need to you lot need to understand yeah On Me as a person in general actually and me on my channel. I have never ever ever exposed nobody for nothing For nothing. I have never talked bad on anyone really like that. I have I have definitely explained how i have felt in certain situations and just put these are looking walking past i definitely um explained how i felt in diff in certain situations and how i felt like people were being horrible to me i've explained all of that shit and i felt explained how i was the underdog but i have never come on my channel to expose anybody i've never come on my channel to to to, to drag anybody i've never done that in it so I don't really want to be put in that category, in it. I have done a story time on my real life, fam. My real life, from my fucking heart. You think it's easy to tell a story time about somebody who deeply, deeply hurt me? It's not fucking easy. And when you, when some of you lot, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of you comments were positive, but when some of you lot are sitting there making nasty, snidey fucking comments, how dare you? 
Number one, this is what you need to fucking understand, yeah? I did a story time and I didn't say one negative thing about this nigga. One negative thing. All I said was a nice story time from my point of view, yeah? How I felt. It was more about how I felt about him, really, if I'm honest, innit? I was showing you that I, the title is the love of my life. I'm not even being negative on my man. I haven't said his name, so I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I deserve to, to 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 receive any fucking backlash. If I'm really honest, another thing is what, what another thing that pisses me off, yeah, about negative comments to do with this particular um, situation that I was in. Yeah, is that you lot will never understand my pain yeah because and the reason you will never understand my pain is because you lot can't and i can't tell you everything do you understand i'm telling you the good stuff so you lot can laugh and have a giggle and get to know me but i can't really go into the deep dark side of it because if i do that then it's gonna make certain people look bad and i don't need to do that i'm not trying to imply that i'm perfect by the way but i cannot go and start telling um telling you the deep darkness of what happened I can't do that so when you're sitting there judging and chatting shit about me and you have no idea what I went through think twice let me let me tell you something you lot yeah I I when this thing ended yeah I wanted to top myself okay I literally wanted to top myself I was like in a dark place for like a year yeah if I look away it's just because I can't even I can't even I wanted to top myself so every time I think about this person yeah it is emotional for me because it is a deep scar of mine I don't need nobody chatting shit I haven't exposed nobody I haven't said who he is you lot can make your fucking presumptions you're never gonna know because I'm never gonna say nothing another thing is I'm not here being um, horrible I'm not here dragging nobody I'm telling a nice story about a date I'm also trying to maybe spread some some wisdom in it because I don't want any girl to go through what I went through. Do you understand? What I went through, yeah, is painful. You guys, you'll never fucking know because I'm never ever going to try and paint nobody in a bad light. That's not what my channel is about. I'm not about coming on here and dragging nobody. Ever. You lot will never fucking understand what I've fucking been through. So you, for you lot to write dumb shit in the fucking comments. You wasn't there. You don't know what the fuck I did for this nigga. You don't know what the fuck he put me through. Imagine this, yeah? Let me just say this. Imagine this. Imagine living your life, yeah? Meeting somebody. Because you have to remember I was there before you lot knew him. A lot of you know him now. But a lot of you didn't know him then. Yeah? So I knew him before you lot knew him, yeah? I knew him before the success. I was sitting in bed with him when he touched a million um, views on, on fucking YouTube. Now, let me explain something to you lot, yeah? Because I think you lot need to understand this, yeah? Imagine being me. Now, I want to be... I am a good person, yeah? I'm not a type of person who ever wants to hurt nobody. Ever. In life, Ever. I'm not the type of person who is like mad, um, resentful or evil. I'm not the type of person who's mad, just like spiteful and evil in it. I want to see people win, especially somebody that I claim I loved deeply and still love. I'm always going to love, if once I've loved you, I'll love you forever. So I'm always going to love my man. So this is what you lot need to understand, yeah? I have to sit and live a life where... Instead of me to, suit, to to completely heal from the past, it is difficult for me to do that because of how the situation ended. Now, I was going to do a story time on how it ended, but because of how many people want to start really, really speculating and I just think it'll get messy, in it? Because if I start to say how it ended, I'm going to cause World War Three. I'm going to start World War Three, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut about what really happened. I'll tell you little bits and whatever that will be juicy, but I'm not going to tell you the real thing that happened because it will just start World War Three, and it won't be pretty. Do you understand? The situation wasn't an ending thing because my man had bare gal or, or it wasn't... <laughs> I wish it ended like that. I wish it ended because, you know, he had bitches or he loved another bitch or I wish I wish it ended because of that. It didn't end because of that shit, yeah? Initially, it, okay, 
it ended and then something that happened after it ended is what actually caused my trauma and has caused my trauma to this day because what i have to witness and what you guys don't understand is i have to witness my man you know talking about being successful and popping off and and and, and enjoying his life and the reason that hurts me sometimes even though i'm happy for him on some level is because i think to myself my nigga like I feel like you left me for dead. That's how I feel in it. I feel like you left me for dead because you know they there's something that happened that put me in a very very bad situation. And my nigga, you have gone, you've leveled up and you've never come back to pattern it. You've never come back to help me. You left me for dead. I was depressed for a year. I hear you talking about your success and you left me for dead. You've never tried to write it. You've never tried to make your wrongs right. You left me in a very bad situation to the point where I had to tell my parents because it was so deep. Yeah, my mom, my mom had to take a flight from because my mom and dad are retired. My mom had to take a flight from um, Africa, yeah, to fly back to the UK to be with me to console me. Not because I was not just because I was heartbroken because I was in a fucked up situation and I didn't see any way out. I was I was fucking I was in a very bad situation. Yeah, that my man put me in. He knows what he done to me. And that whole time when I was going through that, he, my man didn't check up on me. Yeah? Cool. It's not really a thing where I'm trying to let you lot guess what happened. It's, it's, that's, it's never that, innit? But the point I'm trying to make is... This nigga left me for dead. That is how I feel. This nigga left me for dead. I almost talked to myself. Do you know the thing he did to me? It's not like it was the end of the world. But it was bad, yeah? But it wasn't the end of the world. But the reason it hurt so much, yeah? Is imagine thinking this person's the one, yeah? And then they do something dirty to you. Everyone makes mistakes, yeah? So calm. I'm a forgiving person. You know this. I always give people the benefit of doubt. But it's been four years, my nigga. You know what you did to me. And I'll give him this. He's apologised. But he's never really tried to make right by me. He's never tried to make right by me. That's what causes my fucking trauma. You get it? It's not even about trusting another man. It's not about loving another man. Fuck niggas. Real talk, fuck niggas. That's why I don't date. That's why when people are making fucking dumb comments about me on Batch House, you don't even know the half of it. I hardly fucking get laid. My nigga, I can have sex once a year because you don't understand the pain I have to go through. Every time I hear this fucking nigga's voice, it triggers me. I have to, I can't even listen to Capital Extra, my nigga. That's how deep it is. I can't listen to fucking Capital Extra because of this fucking nigga. This, I, I feel, and I, no one can tell me different, I feel like this nigga left me for dead. I feel like this nigga left me for dead. This nigga left me for dead. This nigga went off, done his thing, and when he had patterned up, he never came back to do right by me. And I don't mean get back with me, I mean fix what he did wrong to me. Fix what he did wrong to me. He knows what it was. The times we've spoken after the, the, the whole us ending, or whatever you want to say, the times we've spoken after, He's apologised. I'm not going to sit here and say he hasn't apologised. He's, apo he's probably apologised four or five times, if I'm honest, yeah? But all those conversations, more time were... What's the words I'm looking for? Prompted? Prompted? Nah. Basically, I started the conversation, innit? I'm the one that started that conversation, and then he ends up apologising. We've met him in person, and he's spoken to me, and he's apologised. But then I'll hear a track and I'll hear him bragging about every, about life and I just think, but my man, yeah, you've apologised, but if you really felt sorry, yeah, you would have done more than this. Because what you lot need to realise is this thing that happened, it's a big deal. This is what I'm trying to say to you. As much as you lot cuss me, I'm a very good person. I'm a very good person. I'm a very good person. Because I love this person and I, he was... The, the biggest the, the the biggest love i've ever had for anybody bro and i want to make something else clear yeah but for all of you fucking dickheads and haters 
before I was on back chat I was an Instagram girl innit so it wasn't it's not really it's not really a weird thing for me to be getting ballers and 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 and, and niggas you know like like I get England play niggas that play for England in my DMs like that's that is what I'm trying to say that is not abnormal for me do you understand it is it is it's so deep much deeper than what you lot think yeah and when you lot make negative comments yeah, you don't know how it affects somebody. Someone's come on a platform to share their life, yeah? They've been very strategic on what they're going to share and you want to be negative. I don't think that's always good. Like, it's not nice for you not to be, to be bare negative, bare negative, chat shit about Lani. You don't know me. You don't know that what the fuck I was doing for this guy. You wasn't there. Have more compassion sometimes before you lot sit here and chat shit. I have, it's been four years, I've never said shit. A lot of you lot don't know, my brethren and people who are close to me know. A lot of you don't fucking know. If I did a whole video on what happened, I would get millions of views. But I'm not going to do that because I care for him. I saw the come up and I want him to win. I'm not going to be one of those people that tries to stay him down. That's, that's very ironic. So I've just chosen to forgive. There's bare people around me right now. I've chosen to forgive. But when you lot, yeah? Me... Me sharing my experiences on YouTube. I have shared every significant person in my life. Links, boyfriends, I've shared everything, yeah? Um, every at least one experience from every person I've shared all of them and he was the last one I really did why do you think that is it is a touchy subject I'm trying to share with you with, with young girls you know like learn from me like I did this I did that I'm trying to make it lighthearted yes yeah, sometimes I get emotional because it is very touchy and then I have some people writing negative shit when they don't know shit all I have to say yeah is you I just want you lot to be a little bit kinder to people get me i'm a human being i'm not a bitch i'm not a clout chaser because if i was a real if i was a real clout chaser i could have been i could have been gone viral off this shit yeah i'm not clout chaser i'm sharing a positive story i ain't said no names i don't put no deep pictures on the fucking um on the fucking um what do you call this thumbnail i ain't done shit like that i've just told a story and 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 and, tr and i to be honest i tried to hide that identity but if you don't want to try and clock it that's your business isn't it i'm not going to confirm or deny nothing but to be honest i thought it was a nice story it was a story about love in it it wasn't a negative story i don't need your fucking negative opinions please if you don't have nothing nice to say just leave my page leave my page yeah because until you've been in a situation where someone you trusted oh, fuck. until you've been in a situation yeah where somebody you trusted somebody you loved to the fucking moon and back does does you dirty you can never come chat to me yeah you can never come chat to me I just need you lot to be a little bit nicer to, to to people, like especially when you don't really you lot like you don't know me. You really you really you really don't know me. You really don't know me. Sometimes give people the benefit of the doubt. I've told a fucking story, a positive story at like that. You lot don't know me. You lot don't know my struggle. You do not know how hard it is. Every time I hear this nigga bragging or on the radio saying some shit and I think, but you left me for dead though. You, you've been leaving me for dead. The thing is with me, yeah, is I've tried to get over it, yeah? But it still hurts because the truth is, it's not even like I have to, I have to fathom that, oh, okay, he didn't love me. It's not even that I have to come to the reality that he didn't love me. Maybe I was just another hoe. It's not even just that. The thing that hurts deeper than that is even if you didn't love me and I was just another hoe to you and I was convenient because I was only 10 minutes away from you. Yeah? You did me dirty so bad, yeah? It makes me feel like, did you even care about me? As a friend, my nigga. As a friend. That's, that's it. 
as a friend, my nigga. I loved you, yeah, with all my heart. I get that if you didn't feel the same. But for you to do that to me, did you even love me as a fucking friend? I see you all, I see you on the internet. You uplift other black women. You help other black women. You, um, do things to pattern other black women and show that you're affiliated with them but i'm not saying you need to be affiliated with me but you have never come back and done anything positive or nice for me after all the fucking shit i done for you my nigga i could have gone jail for you my nigga do you understand i could have gone jail for you my nigga and you've left me for dead you don't give a fucking shit but you rather uplift random girls who haven't really done nothing for you the way i done for you and then i have now it's just it's just a whole triggering triggering story in it like my nigga you guys don't even get it it's a very deep situation for me yeah it's a very painful situation for me i don't need negative judgmental fucking cunts talking down on me my nigga my nigga yeah, you know what? Back in the day, I would have never been able to even come on here and do this, yeah? Because this is a very big indirect. However, the reason I'm, I'm doing it with my chest, yeah? It's because there's a, there's a part of me that just feels, fuck it. At this point, yeah? If I die, I die. I'm being dead serious, you lot. At this point, if I die, I die. It isn't okay to treat people like that. I'm just being honest, babe. What you did to me, it's not okay. If you see this video, it's not okay what you done to me. And then fucking live your life, blow up, and then not come back and do right by me. And then fucking up, up, uplift other black women. Show love to other black women, but not me. Bear people, man. Bear people. It's not okay. Four years later, I see when I see him up, 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 uplift another black woman or try and help another bitch out or shout out another bitch, I it, it triggers me. You don't you don't get it, like because I know, yeah, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. These bitches, what these bitches haven't done half of what what I've done for you, my nigga. And you know this, and you know this, and you know this. You don't want to... Okay, let me just end like this, yeah? You do not want to end up like me, you lot. Like, I'm being dead serious. You do not want to end up like me. This isn't a nice feeling, yeah? As much as you see me smiling and stuff, and I'm a happy person, when I go home, when I go sleep at night, not every day, but often, not every day, but often, I feel hurt. I'm hurt. I feel hurt. I feel broken. Because the, the man I loved left me for dead, my nigga. The man I love, loved, did me dirty and I, 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 I am not, do you know what, I'm not upset that he did me dirty, I'm upset that he has never come back to be like, let's go out for dinner, you know what, the way I treated you back then was wrong, what I've, what, whatever, the way it ended, what I didn't want to do for you was wrong, the way I just left you was wrong, let me take you for dinner, here's some flowers and I like Lani I wish you the best get me like I'm like I've changed I'm, I'm a good person now I, I'm sorry for that if you don't know if you don't don't know t to this day this nigga I'm blocked from this nigga's Instagram yeah and that doesn't mean we haven't spoken we have spoken even through me being blocked because he'll use a burner account and talk to me and then like or I'll use a burner account and try and go on his Instagram and he'll talk to me but guys, at this point, yeah, what do I have to lose? What do I have to lose? What what do I have to lose? The the guy does the person of clearly doesn't care about me because if they cared about me, I would I would I probably wouldn't even have done the first video because I probably feel like I want to have some loyalty to them and they don't want people to they, they like I would probably be like ah oh, in case people clock let me just keep my mouth shut. <sighs> this one's looking at me so. I'm not gonna talk. Anyway. What I'm saying to you lot, yeah? I don't know why she's staring at me, fam. Yeah, so. She just needs to go. So, anyway, fucking.
this woman needs to leave me alone. This is why I came out of my house. So no one bothers me. I swear to God. I don't know why she keeps walking past. <laughs> anyway. I was closing it, yeah? You don't want to end up like me, yeah? Let me just talk to all my like little girls in it because um, sometimes, yeah, I'm not, no joke here, sometimes I fear that my sisters are going to go through what I went through and I would never want anyone to go through this shit, yeah? It's not pretty. It's not pretty. But sometimes I, I, I think, oh my God, God forbid they go through anything like this. And I just want, I don't want any of you females who watch me and who actually look up to me to go through what I went through. This is what I want to say to you lot, yeah? What I want to say to you lot is this, yeah? Biggest lesson I can give you. Never, ever, 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 ever completely give your heart to someone to the point where like <sighs> look, Romeo and Juliet, Cinderella and fucking Prince Charming that's all lovely, in it. I'm a huge Disney fan. If anyone knows me, I'm a huge Disney fan. I'm a huge romantic. But never give your heart to someone to the point where... <laughs> Just to the point of no return. Let me tell you why, yeah? Especially maybe when... He hasn't shown that you're the one, yeah? Because, yeah, you young girls who are f falling in love with boys, yeah? Some of you, like, have babies for guys and then you end up, the guy ends up not loving you or whatever, etc. Don't, don't give your heart too deeply, too far gone to a guy. Trust me. Because when you get to a point where you're going to decide that this guy's the one, I'm going to marry him, he's everything I've dreamed of, he's my everything, he's my soulmate, and then, yeah, he turns out maybe not to be your soulmate, or he turns out to hurt you, sometimes the damage is so deep that you'll just never get over it. You'll just never get, get, you'll never get over it. I'm just the best advice I can give you lot. But real talk, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to do part two and all of that. I will, but I just feel like if you don't fuck with my fucking page, yeah? If you don't fuck with me as a person, yeah? You don't want to hear my fucking story times. Then please, leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah? It is my fucking life. It is my fucking page. I can talk about my fucking experiences. I can help other girls not get hurt the way I got hurt. Yeah? Yeah, I don't want no... You ever heard that saying that girls kill for love? Yeah? I can really deep that saying. I do not want anyone to top themselves over a man. I do not want anybody to top themselves over a man. I do not want anyone to suffer from depression over a man. Leave my fucking page alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Seriously. If you don't like me, if you don't rate me, leave me the fuck alone. I ain't sent for nobody. I ain't said nothing about nobody. I have said a story about an anonymous person. Fuck off. There's millions of fucking rappers in the UK. Fuck off. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah? You think it's easy, fam? When you lot sit there and... And, and judge oh, I look terrible fam okay I didn't expect this video one sec I didn't expect this video to be this long I just 
hope that some of you people that say you fuck with me can just like have my back in this because this is not easy in it it's not easy and i just like i told you i have nothing to lose like nigga left me for dead like that nigga don't care about me that nigga don't care care about me at all i think if i died he wouldn't even he wouldn't even flinch if i'm really honest so i'm being dead out serious if i died he wouldn't even flinch um it gets like that but regardless of my pain regardless of my dating trauma and regardless of the fact that i don't want to date no niggas yeah i don't want to date no niggas everyone knows this niggas that move to me probably think like what's what's up with lani i have trauma that's what's up with me in it that is what is up with me that is why i'm difficult with you that is why i the last person i dated which was um last year though i've done a story time on him the maldives guy the reason I, I i reacted in certain ways the reason i was just like mm, like when he done shit i was just like bye boy like i can't deal with this shit it's because i am um, when your heart's already like fucking bruised like i'll tell you my heart's bruised yeah i've got actual i've got bruises on my heart like my heart's got bare bruises yeah it's never fully healed and then someone else wants to come and punch it up my nigga i'm good i'm already hurt fam yeah, I, I'm, I haven't fully recovered and you're trying to come punch me up again. I'm good, you know. So that is why, I, to be honest, you guys, it goes so deep. I will even say this. I don't even feel, I don't even think love is for me. I've said that on back chat. And a lot of people probably thought I was capping. This is where it comes from. Yeah, love is probably not for me. I wish love for my sisters. I wish love for you followers. I wish love for a lot of people. But love isn't for me. Love can never be for me. Yeah, because I just, I feel like, I'm fucked. That's just the genuine truth. I'm fucked, guys. I'm so fucked. Yeah? I will wake up and just start crying. Four years later, my nigga. Because of how bad this guy left me for dead. This guy done what he done to me and he left me for dead, didn't he? And he has never come back to say, see that thing I did to you? I'm going to correct it. Yeah? He left me for dead. So that is all I have to say on the matter. Fuck love. Fuck niggas. All I want to do is blow up do well in life have a kid buy my kid everything they want in the world and die that's all i fucking want all right anyway you guys fucking know that was so fucking deep anyway guys i tried to look a little bit cute because <laughs> i don't know who is gonna fucking watch this video and i don't want to be uh, i'm not saying it's gonna go nowhere but i don't want this 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 video to go to to be on everyone's fucking like if, if this video like you know people start watching me i don't want to look hella clapped that's why my tits are out and that's why i look hot do you like this jumpsuit it's so peng i feel like a, a bit evil and i don't want to plug you lot on this jumpsuit i'm i'm being dead serious that's how much i like it <laughs> that i don't want you lot to have it but um anyway guys i really love you, you lot that ride for me i really really ride for you lot that love that ride for me i really really do and um I'm not going to disappoint you guys at all. And that's on period, sis. Okay. Anyway, guys. <sighs> you'll get other videos and then you'll get probably a part two and a part three. But like I said, I'm not going to reveal too much because um, that would be um, cause World War Three, And also that would be defam defamation to his name. And I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to say nothing too bad. And also, like, rather than caring so much about who he is, just care about me in it. And the fact that I've gone through something traumatic. It doesn't matter who it is. Okay? It doesn't matter who it is. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. Bye. This is not going to be edited. I can't, I'm so sorry. I can't edit this. This is just too deep. There's no fucking way I can watch this back. There is no fucking way I can watch this back. No way. Okay? Every time I edit, I cry. So I'm not going to edit this. Okay? I'm just going to put it up. Love you. Bye. Bye, guys.